हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवन डन इट हेट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इट सेज दैट द 50 के जी बॉय जम्प्स ऑन द 5 के जी स्केट बोर्ड विद हॉरिजेंटल वी लास्ट ऑफ फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड डिटर्मिन द डिस्टेंस एस बॉय रीच इज अप द इंक्लाइन प्लेन बिफोर मोमेंटरीली कमिंग टू स्टॉप नेगलेक्ट द स्केट बोर्ड्स रोलिंग रजिस्टेंस सो वी हैव दिस बाय बॉय विच इज मूविंग विद फाइव के जी फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड राइट सो ही जम्प्स टू दिस स्केट बोर्ड एंड देन ही अटेंड दी ऑफ फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड राइट सो नाउ वेन ही जम्प्स ऑन द बोर्ड ही पुश इज द बोर्ड टू इन दॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन लेट से दिस इज द फोर्स एंड एज अ रिएक्शन द स्केट बोर्ड अप्लाई द सेम फोर्स इन दपोजिट डायरेक्शन सो बोथ ऑफ दीज इम्पल्स फोर्स इज कैंसल आउट ईच अदर एंड द मोमेंटम रिमेन्स कंजर्व राइट सो लेट से दैट when he just jumps on the skateboard is that is the initial position and here to the base of the incline is let's say state 2 we are going to apply the law of conservation of momentum in the horizontal direction and this direction is our positive direction and the law of conservation of momentum says that the summation of the in initial momentum that will be equal to the summation of final momentum if there are no impulsive forces so the internal impulsive forces cancel out each other and then we have the um, mass of the boy right since the the weight of the boy is going to act vertically downward like this and the weight of the skateboard is also acting vertically downward somewhere here let's see this is the weight of the skateboard so we can write that this is the mass of boy into the initial velocity of the boy plus the mass of the skateboard into the initial velocity of the skateboard now in the final state we will have the mass of the boy times the final velocity and when the boy jumps on the skateboard so the both the skateboard and the boy moves with some constant velocity right so we can write that the mass of the boy multiplied by the common velocity let's say that common velocity is v plus the mass of the skateboard multiplied by the common velocity so now the mass of the boy is 50 kg that is given 50 and the initial velocity of the boy is 5 meter per second that is given and initially the skateboard is at rest right so that is the mass of the skateboard is 5 multiplied by 0 the initial velocity is 0 of the skateboard and this is equal to the mass of the boy which is 50 multiplied by v plus the mass of the skateboard is again that is 5 multiplied by that common velocity so this will uh, this will give us 50 into 5 and this is equal to this is this is 50 into 5 and this will be equal to we can take that v is common so this is 50 plus 5 into v and that final common velocity is equal to 50 into 5 divided by 55 so this gives us this gives us the velocity equal to 5.545 meter per second so this is the common velocity of the boy and the skateboard right at at the base of the incline right so this this is the velocity at state 2 now after state 2 uh we can apply the law of conservation of energy so so let's say that this is state 2 and somewhere here state state 3 where the boy and the skateboard come to rest so from state 2 to state 3 we are going to apply the law of conservation of energy and the law of conservation of energy says that the the kinetic energy at state 2 plus the potential energy at state 2 that will be equal to the, the kinetic energy at state 3 plus the potential energy at state 3 so now the kinetic energy at state 2 for both the boy and the skateboard is we can write that 1 divided by 2 mass of the boy plus mass of the skateboard since from state 2 to state 3 uh, both the boy and skateboard move together so we are going to consider the masses together so that will be equal to the velocity 
so the velocity a2 is this v velocity so that is v square and for the potential energy we are considering the ground as the datum line so this is my datum line for the potential energy so at state 2 uh, both the y and the skateboard are uh, are at the datum so the potential energy at datum is always equal to zero and then at state 3 they uh, in the problem statement they said that the both of them uh, come to momentarily rest right so they momentarily stops at state 3 so this means that the kinetic energy at state 3 is equal to zero if you want to find the distance s the distance traveled before coming to rest right so that is t3 0 plus the potential energy at state 3 so the potential energy at state 3 will be equal to since we know that the potential energy is always equal to m g h that is the weight times the height from the datum so the height from the datum at state 3 is this height so this is that height h and this height h if we consider this whole triangle then if we consider this whole triangle then this height is the sine component of that s so we can write that this h is s sine of 30 if we consider that triangle so we can write that the mass of the y plus the mass of the skateboard into g which is 9.81 into h and h is equal to the sine component right the perpendicular the vertical distance from the datum line to the final state 3 so now <coughs> we can write that th this will be if we add this so th we will have the equation like this and now if we divide both side by mm, mb plus mass of the skateboard so this will cancel out and this will cancel out so we are left with 1 divided by 2 v square this is equal to 9.81 into h and h is equal to h is the sine component of that s this is s sine of 30 so we want to find this s this is that s which is required so now we can write that uh, one and we know that v which is four point this is the velocity the common velocity of the skateboard at state two so this is we can write that this is 0 0.5 into 4.545 square divided by 9.81 into sine of 30 and this is equal to that uh, distance traveled along the incline so this gives us the distance traveled along the incline equal to 2.11 meters So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning. Also subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet.